Hello everybody, we're on the Command Block Crash Course World, and we're going to be looking at scoreboard teams today. What can you do with scoreboard teams? You can do quite a few things. You can create turrets that only hurt people on one group. You can use, make colorful displays and a lot of other things. So, the first thing we need to do is scoreboard teams add let's do default team um, oh so we already created that and gives you this error message and if you want to remove it you just type in remove default team which is kind of self-explanatory so I'm gonna add it back and let's join default team default team so now I'm on team default and if I do at E, I believe, since we're on the same team, he actually will not hurt me. That's pretty, pretty useful. So that's how you know if you're on the same team as a mob. And let's say you have a team with all these different entities that you see here and you don't really want any of them to be so you can do scoreboard teams empty um, empty default team and that just cleared out all of the players from it so that's the very basic parts let's go a tiny bit more complicated it's really not that bad scoreboard teams option so here you've got the two teams and let's use blue for this one so we've got color friendly fire see friendly invisibles name tag visibility death message visibility collision rule and that's it so we're gonna start with color and let's do blue color dark blue and so if I do scoreboard teams join uh, blue at a I'm on blue but you can't see so if I get an anvil and just name him blue guy just call him guy so if you add him to the team his name will actually be blue and that's pretty pretty interesting that's more just a uh, cosmetic you don't really need it um, one that's pretty useful is friendly fire. So option blue friendly or er, friendly fire and you either have true or false. So I'm gonna put false and we're gonna add this guy I, I can still hit him. Maybe that's just uh friendly fire I guess only works for players. So it does not work for mobs. I thought it worked for mobs, but it should work for mobs. Um, then we've got C friendly invisible. So blue, C friendly invisible, true. So I, if we give him uh, invisibility. Get a creeper instead. We need to give him a name. Okay, we've got creeper. We're gonna add him to the blue team. And because he's invisible and we're both on the blue team, you can actually see him. That's pretty cool. It's really useful for a lot of things. Somebody did a uh, spy from TF2 cloaking when you get near him it shows it like this but when you get further away it's completely invisible that was pretty cool okay so that was that and then now we have name tag visibility and I believe this is true fall or er, always never hide for other teams hide for your own team so if you have never you can't see it ever and always you always see it 
I think always is default. Um, hide for other teams. So hide for other teams is really good if you want a, a team PvP map. Because then your team can see you and you can see your teammates to know where they are. But then uh, you can't see the other team by just looking through a wall. And I like name tag visibility a lot for PvP. And then we've got death message visibility, which I don't think that shows for shows for mobs. Let's do always. It shouldn't say, yeah. But if a player dies, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of the same logic as a couple of the other ones. And then I believe, is it collision rule? It's last. So this has the same... Same uh, options, pretty much. So you've got push own team. So... Pushes the creeper. If I put push other teams, I can go through the creeper. Although... He's not on the blue team, is he? Um, okay. That's pretty... That's quite a bit it. And pretty much it. But now we're going to go into uh, making turrets. And I'm going to show you how to make a colorful display. So here's your normal summon command. Armor stand, custom name, hello, and it's visible. So I believe it. If it's uh, it, team blue, and then it makes it blue. Now, of course, you want to make this invisible, and then I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll retype. Uh, Blue. So it, it makes a pretty good uh, display. Since I'm on the blue team too, you can actually <laughs> you can actually see it. That's pretty cool, I guess. And then the other thing that we can do: summon a skeleton with a bow. Put him on your team. So, uh, put that over here, I guess. Uh, I'm actually going to rename him. There we go. And so, that's the blue turret. I'm going to cover him. <clears throat> so if I go into game mode zero, you can see the blue turret does not shoot me. Oh, that creeper will. Creeper won't shoot me, but it it'll kill me. Um, it's not a very smart turret, and you you would make it stationary. Uh, let's resummon him in. And so if I scoreboard teams leave, I guess join default team he will actually shoot me now and then I can't see his name which is pretty cool it's a really easy way to do turrets but that's pretty much it for scoreboard teams if you find anything really cool that you enjoy that you've built with scoreboard teams please tell me in the comments because I like hearing stuff like that and I think this is episode 5 see you guys later and have a great day bye